everybody, this is Praxis, and today I spent pretty much the whole day in here. It was rainy most of the day today, like I was saying, we were having some rainstorms come through. So I was just in here doing the stuff that I left for a rainy day, and specifically that is pipe insulation. All these black uh, foam uh, coverings on the pipes. I was putting all that stuff on today. You'll notice over the hot water heater, I've got both sides. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you can actually notice that because I think they're right in line with each other. But I uh, insulated both sides and the reason for that is that you're losing heat through both of them. If the hot water tank is just sitting there, there's hot conducting up through both. So I think it's a, a wise idea to insulate both of them to prevent heat loss out the top of your tank. But you'll also notice these are, it's a hot and a cold line up there. This is the, uh, the drain below it, but that's a hot and cold line. And I also insulated them both up there. The hot line, so you, you're not losing heat as you're you know running hot water through your house. But the cold line is really important too as well because if you're running cold water for an extended period of time, like washing laundry or something like that, um, we always wash laundry with cold water. Um, uh, it'll uh, get condensation on the pipes and uh, you know that you're gonna have shelving here storage you know pantry items you don't want condensation dripping onto your pantry items or when it goes to a wall you don't want it dripping on the wall so I think it's important to insulate both of those and that's what I was doing today I, I was pretty close to perfect on how much uh, pipe insulation we had uh, this is the only thing that is left undone there's a little uh, uh, section of pipe over there that's undone, but that's because that's where the leak is that the plumber has to fix. I just didn't cover up that, but I do have enough for that. Uh, this is uncovered, and I have just about the right amount, except that River's presently using this part, uh, this piece as a sword, so I didn't put it on there. Uh, I might, it might have been like just a few inches shy on the whole thing, and this isn't actually all that important because this just runs out. It's a supply line to the shed, and that's like a next year project, so I'm not even going to be running any water through there, so it's never going to uh, condense or anything. So did pretty well on that. Last thing I want to talk about is this right here. This is the radon uh, detector and I'm so glad I got this little digital one. Right now uh, our long-term average is 4.6. Yeah, 4.6, uh, which is too high. It's about double what it should be, uh, you know, to be considered safe. Uh, but it's giving me more information than uh, just a long-term average. Uh, it, it says the, seven, uh, the last seven days average is just a little over four. So the last seven days have been, on average, uh, less radon than the previous month or so before that. But uh, specifically, the last day has been 1.18 uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the radon contamination in here. And that's fine. Like, if that was our, our average all the time, you wouldn't even have to worry about it. Anything under 2.7 is considered okay. So, um... This is a really nice device. I like that it's giving me this feedback. And once we start mitigation techniques, this is going to let me know whether they actually work. Because, you know, if you just hired someone to come in and they do something, you know, you don't know if they did it right. I mean, you know the way every contractor is. I mean, well, these pipes are a great example. Uh, you know, I, I'm using this tape. It's this foil, like a kind of a gooey, gummy kind of tape with a foil on the top. Uh, the plumbers that plumbed this whole place, they did a, a place for me. The re reason I knew them is they did a, a rental property uh, that I have. They did all the plumbing in that. And it was horrendous. Uh, you know, the, the, the tape they used on it was all flaking off of the pipes. You'd think that they'd never did it before. I don't know what kind of tape they used. I assume it was something cheap. But, um, you know, even if you hire a professional, you don't know what, if they know what they're doing or if they care about what they're doing or whatever. So even beyond... Being able to check, uh, even if you're not doing your own DIY kind of radon mitigation, it's really important. And I love the fact that this thing is giving me constant feedback on whatever is happening based on changes that we're making in here. So anyway, I was in here all day today. Tomorrow's supposed to be a, a bright, sunny day. We're going to be back outside doing more of the exterior stuff. And pretty soon, we're going to start doing the exterior sheathing. Because uh, winter's coming. That's it. Thanks for watching.